Please. So come lying on your back with your feet flat on your mat. And if you have a blanket or something you want to lay under your head, go ahead, try to make your head and neck comfortable with anything. Like, and that sometimes at home, I even just use a towel. And it sounds like you all can hear me okay. I can hear you okay. Here. Okay. Perfect. So feet flat on the mat, bridge position. That's what we're going to start doing is just bridging and moving. And feel free to chime in with questions or whatever, how your body's feeling anytime. We can keep connecting and chatting. Aw, puppies, drive the car. I love it. So we're going to start with a little bridging. And uh, as you inhale, send the hips up. So your bridge position. But kind of check in with your ribs, engage your abs. Don't make it your full yoga bridge. Just a nice Pilates bridge, one long line. And then as you exhale, we're going to articulate. <laughs> so drop your upper back, middle back, lower back, and then slowly down to hips, and then pelvis. And then we're going to bring some arms into it. So we're going to bring the arms up to the ceiling. Inhale up into the bridge and drop the arms down. Engage the triceps and then roll down, dropping the sternum, upper back. <coughs> really focus on the lower ribs to the lower back. Try to get Lay down. Lay down. And I'm even rolling back and forth a little bit in that low rib to low back area. And then send the hands back up to the ceiling. Lift the hips, send the arms back down. Keep moving bone by bone. So just bridging a few times here. With your guard yeah. at your pace. I've got my gong here in the room and it's kind of vibrating as I talk. Pretty funny. Thank you. Good boy. Good boy. And let's go two more times. Anybody finding some stiff spots in their back? I haven't moved yet this morning, so it feels pretty good. <coughs> feels great. And check in, do some windshield wipers, the knees to one direction and then the other. By the way, what kind of floor is everybody on? Got a hard floor, carpet? I'm on hardwood. Hardwood. Oh, I'm on uh yeah. So the bamboo is pretty hard. So I have two yoga mats under me. So FYI for the Pilates practices, if we start rolling, it feels a little better to have more mats. <clears throat> okay, so come sitting now. And try to be right up on your sit bones and wrap the hands behind the head. So think of engaging navel to spine. Think of drawing the hip bones apart. And send the elbows wide and then draw them together. Draw the ribs down. And then find that halfway point where you can engage your armpit muscles, your mid back. And take a deep inhale, draw the ribs down, engage the belly, and over to the right. Inhale back to center, up and over left. And just keep moving with your breath. Trying to keep the abs engaged. And the back and armpit muscles engaged. Really reaching the base of your skull, kind of into your fingertips. 
how can we engage our armpit muscles more? I am uh, trying to really push my shoulder blades down my back okay. and okay. push my head back into my hands. Okay, I feel that. Feel that connection a little better. It just makes yes. it easy. My arms are here, but I'm not working into now my shoulders are reaching down, all that's engaging. Okay. Yeah, thanks for the question. So now we're gonna come to the right, and then I'm gonna look up at my left elbow and twist from the navel point, adding a little twist. And then I'm gonna untwist, stack the spine back up straight. And then to the left this time, up and over, looking up at my right elbow, back to center, and then stack it back up. So let's do that a few more times. Up and over to the right. Twist, look up at the left elbow. Look back to center and stack the spine back up. And navel working over to the left. All those armpit muscles and stuff are working. Look up at the right elbow. Untwist, stack the spine up straight. Up and over right. Twist up to the left. Untwist. Stack the spine up and up and over to the left. Look up at the right elbow. Look back straight. Stack the spine back up. Then shake it out a little bit. Roll the shoulders. Oh, I'm glad I'm getting moving. It's cold in my house because I turned the air on. But everybody else. You're right. We're hot, as always. <laughs> Jen, you just took the last class too, so that's awesome. Okay, let's come to hands and knees. And fingers are spread wide, the thumbs are reaching right. So think of those active hands. Stuart needs to go to the potty book. <laughs> Sorry. Potty break? Trying to get him out. Hands and knees. What's given out? Bring your navel to spine, so active belly. Looking down at your hands, neutral spine first. Hold that neutral spine, so don't pat cow. So watch that your tailbone is still reaching out behind you. And just do those rhomboid push-ups. So it's right between your shoulder blades. And it's a small movement. You're trying to raise that area to the ceiling and then relax it back down. So getting that mid-back active. Think of pushing down through your first finger mound. Think of the elbows going straight behind you, elbow creases forward. Bend in the elbows. And a couple more of those. And then start a cat cow, but do it with your breath and think of articulating bone by bone through your spine and keeping the navel engaged. So the tailbone begins to rise up, belly lowers, head comes up last. And then start with the tailbone, curl your pelvis under, begin to round into that angry Jennifer's cat. <laughs> <laughs> and keep moving with your breath. Finally starting to warm up already. I think that's the new name for cat cows, Jennifer's cat. <laughs> Sammy. Gonna be official. Sammy? Sammy. <laughs> Love it. Max, my dog, is obsessed with cats. He just stares at them and he won't move. He's like, you must come play with me. <laughs> That's what Marsha... <laughs> 
He wants to say he loves me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come back lying on your back. And I'm going to grab my pillow. You can go ahead and pillow block anything you have or nothing. doesn't matter. And let's bring our hands up to the ceiling. <coughs> Try to bring your spine neutral, your pelvis neutral. So maybe a few pelvic curls, rocking your pelvis towards your head and then away. Think of engaging all the abdominals, like you're drawing in a corset or whatever visualization works for you. And keep those abs drawn in, keep the ribs reaching down and towards one another in the front. <coughs> Bring your eyes up to the ceiling, so palms facing each other. And do the scapular isolation work. So just allowing the shoulder blades to spread apart, sending the arms up to the ceiling, and then drawing the shoulder blades back down. Think about those same things we talked about. I'm kind of pushing my head down towards the mat, but my neck and uh, jaw are relaxed. And then start moving them down to the hips, raising them up and overhead, but don't let those ribs flare up. So keep the spine neutral. Really reaching the shoulder blades down your back as the arms come up. Nice. And then the arms come back to the ceiling. We're going to start our half roll ups. So think of articulating through the upper spine. So you can deep inhale, exhale, head, neck, and shoulders come up. Arms are reaching out past your hips, looking to the belly button. Inhale, roll it back down, send the arms overhead. Exhale, curl it up, head, neck, and shoulders, looking to the belly. Think of hollowing out from left to right. with the belly. And we'll keep going for a few more. And relax the arms down, relax the head down. Look left to right, kind of shake the head out. And then we'll move right into the legs. So the core engaged. We're going to move with the right leg first. So it's going to come up to tabletop using only the abs and the hip flexors to draw it up. You can rest your hands on your hip bones. And we're going to lower and raise. Trying not to lose that 90 degree bend in the knee. In the knee. Yeah. So initiating the movement from the core. And breathing, right? One more. And then lower that leg down. Level out the hips if you need to. Reinitiate the core. Only using those ab muscles, hip flexors, and then raise the left leg. And then Keep going here, lower, raise. Still allow the foot to relax. I feel like I need something exciting on my ceiling to look at. How about y'all? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, lower that leg down. Do a couple windshield wipers. Reinitiate the core, and then we're going to move into both legs. So you can lift one leg to tabletop and then the other. Really 
draw the ribs together. If you want to use your block, if you have one, you can squeeze it between your knees. Totally optional. That you don't need it though. But maybe think of squeezing the knees together even if you don't have a block. So using the triceps to really ground the upper body to the mat. I'm going to begin a lower lift of the legs. So make sure you're not arching your back here. You feel your low back lifting off the mat. Stop your movement right about where it wants to lift. So you're not looking to necessarily get the feet to the floor. And my low back's not touching the mat. I'm not imprinting, but if you feel pain in your low back, think of imprinting or pushing the low back down into the mat. So that's all up to how you're feeling. And then raising the knees back up, send the arms now out to the T. So out wide, palms facing down, arms really pushing down into the mat. I'm gonna keep squeezing my block, the knees together, and then send your legs over to the right and over to the left. So twist here. And how far you go again is up to how you feel. If you can keep the back, well, of course, the back is lifting, the hips are lifting up off the floor. Yes. <laughs> How's it feeling? I'm a little sore from Juniper's class. Are you? Let's she work today. Well, right now I'm feeling it in my thighs. Oh yeah, the shoulder, shoulder, and hips. Ah, so go ahead and squeeze the knees in. Take a little rest, or windshield wiper, maybe wide legs, feet the width of your yoga mat. So I think y'all are members, if you're members, I uh, downloaded a really hard Pilates video, classical mat exercises to drive online, or Jennifer okay. downloaded it for me. Okay. So if you really want it kicked, or just to laugh at me, you can watch that video now. <laughs> Not near this gentle. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna move into hundreds. So we're gonna start with our arms up to the ceiling. So remember the leg positions, you can keep your feet flat. You can bring them up 90. You can raise them up to the ceiling or you can begin lowering one of these positions. So take a deep inhale to prepare. We're gonna exhale, curl up. And then it's for a count of five, inhaling and pumping the arms and you're actively reaching and exhale. And inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, all out the belly, and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, we're halfway there, and exhale, inhale. How's it going? I see some arms pumping and exhale. I'm going to lower on down. Keep going. One more round of breath. And relax it down, squeeze it in. Good work, warming up. All right, I'm gonna squeeze one leg in, lengthen out the other. You can come up however you want. We're gonna come back up to sitting. <clears throat> Practice a little bit of our roll backs. So feet are pressing down into the mat and I'm kind of sending them away from me to Try to energize my legs, get some leg muscles working. So feet are hip width apart. 
elbows wide, of course. So sending them out wide to help engage the mid back and those armpit muscles again. Looking down to the belly button. So just holding that C curve in the spine, imagining a capital C, especially through the lumbar spine. So the lumbar is where it's always hardest. So holding there, we're going to roll back just to that point where you start to find some shake or your feet want to lift off, keep the feet down. Bring your forehead back to your knees. Think of the belly coming in and up under the ribs. And then uncurl the pelvis, stack the spine back up straight. And really the crown of the head to the ceiling. And then curl the pelvis under, low belly in and up, round it down, look to the navel, send those elbows out wide. Hold here. And then with your next breath, head to knees. Roll it in, uncurl the tailbone, stack the spine. And let's do that a couple more times. Rolling back, looking to the navel, sending the elbows wide, low back, reaching the mat, forehead to knees, uncurl the pelvis, stack it up straight. <coughs> Curling back. And maybe each time you go back, you walk lower. Find that point of belly shake. And then we have to bring the forehead back to the knees, round the spine. Untuck the pelvis. Stack it up straight. Nice. Shake it out a little. Now let's do some upper spinal twisting again. So feet out long, ankles flexed, and arms out wide to a T. And bend the knees a little if you need to, so you're right up on the sit bumps. So you can see how my low back rounds when my knees are straight and then how it really straightens when my knees bend. So that's what we're looking for, a nice straight spine. Take a deep inhale, draw the ribs down, abs in, twist to the left. Inhale straight, twist to the right. And just move with the breath, twisting from the navel point. Imagine that your head is really reaching up to the ceiling. Like maybe a little puppeteer is, has a strong. Couple more rounds. And then back to center. Shake it out a second. Take your feet about hip width. We're gonna stay seated here up on our sit bones so my knees are bent, trying to bend them equally. Arms are out straight. Puppy dogs are helping. Palms <laughs> together. Start with that neutral spine as you inhale and draw the ribs in. And then as you exhale, it's like you're coming up and over a beach ball. You're rounding out the belly, looking to the belly button. Rounding the spine, bringing the head over the knees. And then start with the tailbone untucked, stacking the vertebrae back up on each other. Tuck and round, draw the shoulders away from the ears and back. Inhale, stack it up straight. So the more core work is in keeping that belly in and up against the spine, the ribs drawing down. So keep moving. Stacking it up straight as you inhale, exhaling around. And check in when you're here, so it's not a forward fold hinge on the hips, remember it's on the mid back. And just feel a nice stretch. Draw the shoulder blades back. If your arms are trying to reach forward, send those arms back to the back wall a little bit. 
shoulders. Inhale, stack it back up. Exhale, round. And then go ahead and hinge from the hips. Get your forward fold. Stretch the hamstrings a little bit. Point and flex the ankles, maybe scribe circles. Oh, you better get careful. All right, and then go ahead and come onto your bellies. <coughs> So your feet hip width apart or as wide as your mat to so just make sure your low back feels safe. <laughs> Push your feet down into the mat here to really energize the back side of the legs. So my feet are really pushing in, my forehead's to the mat, and I'm going to bring my hands into that diamond shape right under your forehead. So pubic bone is pushing down. Navel to spine here. As you inhale, lift head, neck, and shoulders. And then exhale down. When you're down, think of pushing the arms away, really drawing the shoulder blades down your back. You can start with just lifting the head and keeping the hands down if you want, or raise the arms too. Inhaling up and exhaling to lower. So navels to spine, really hard to talk and do this. How's it feeling? Couple more rounds. <clears throat> well, then hands under the shoulders, push back, find a child pose, shake the low back out. Actively reach the shoulders down the back. And then we're going to come back down onto our elbows, right underneath the shoulders. Fingers spread wide, tops of the feet pushing down, pubic bone pushing into the mat. Get the shoulder blades really reaching, reach the neck along so that you're just looking past your fingertips. And then pushing down with the left foot, raise the right foot, find a little lift. Lower the right foot, lift the left, really pushing down with the right while lifting the left. And then recheck back in, push the pubic bone down, navel is in and up supporting the spine here. The arms are trying to really push your yoga mat away as the shoulder blades reach back. Float both legs if you can, or float just the right. I'm going to keep mine lifting the entire time, and I'm going to kick the right, kick, kick, in towards the buttocks, and then reach it out long. Left kicks. Reach it out long, just flowing with the breath. Kick, kick, then reach, kick, kick, reach. If you want to get fancy, you can point, flex, point the ankle, point, flex, point the ankle. That's just too much thinking for me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of choreography because a lot of dancers got into Pilates. Yeah to try to rehab. I'm still just trying to work on the breathing during the exercise. <laughs> All right, you can breathe while doing this, navel the spine, and then stretch it back, find chop pose. Nice work. <clears throat> One step at a time, right? That's correct. That's correct. Let's keep going with this spinal twisting thing we got going on today. So come lying on your side, either side first, it doesn't matter. 
Have your knees bent 90 degrees at the front of your yoga mat. Your spine is aligned towards the back side of your yoga mat. You can rest your head on your bottom arm or your block if you have your block. And then send at least that top arm. If your bottom arm is free, you can reach both arms. The bottom arm is under the head though, that's okay. So that line here on your side, bring your belly in and up towards your spine. Think of lifting the bottom rib up off the mat with that belly engagement. So you're not just dumping into the mat, you're actively lifting. We're gonna take that top arm, reach it away. And then draw it in towards your face along the mat or the floor or your other arm. Kind of like uh, drawing an arrow, drawing a bow. <clears throat> you can follow the hand with your eyes if it feels good to your neck and reach it back and away from you. Think of that top knee still reaching forward past the bottom knee to really get the most stretch out of your mid-back. So really think of uh, twisting away here from your hip to your neck. And then you can draw that arm back in and twist as you send the arm forward, reaching, and then begin to draw it back. Keep the navel engaged. And twist, reaching away again, send that top knee forward. Then I'm twisting. You can keep going like that, or you can begin to circle the arm, that top arm. As you twist, reach up and away, circle it back. Maybe circle the opposite way. And then meet back at neutral. Let's lower down to our bellies one more time. And maybe come up into a swan position. So your feet are separated pretty far apart and they're pushing down into your mat. So your hands, make them at least as wide as your yoga mat or even wider and as far out in front of you as they need so that your back is happy. So pubic bone is pushing down your navel to spine. Kind of a cobra position yoga right. Pilates calls it swan. So keep thinking of lifting, reaching the neck long and breathing. And maybe look to the left, look over your left shoulder and then head down and around to the right shoulder. And just keep turning the head and neck. Keep pushing the pubic bone down. Keep supporting the spine with the navel. How's the breathing going? Oh, we're supposed to be breathing? All the plates down. So Pilates makes it a dive too. You don't have to dive. Want to experiment with it? It's just letting the upper body go and letting the feet rise up. So here we go. And then catching. Woo, swan dive. All right, find a child's pose. How'd it go, anybody try it? Yes. I did. <laughs> oh. Stretch your back, shake out the low back, whatever you need for the low back. And then when you're ready, we're gonna come back onto our other side. So whichever side you didn't do. Remember that the knees are bent 90, they're at the front of your mat. Your back is aligned with the back of your mat. I'm gonna grab my block for my pillow. <laughs> and arms are reaching out in front of you. Maybe the bottom arm is over your head. That's okay. 
Think of stacking shoulders and hips. Think of navel to spine, the ribs are drawing together. Again, they're drawing up off the mat. They're not just slumped down in. So we're active, active belly. Reach that top arm forward and then begin to draw the bow. Think of twisting from the navel point up and away. You can look back towards your hand and keep sending that top knee forward for that best stretch. And then draw that arm back forward. And just kind of move with your breath with it. Keep that navel to spine. And you can start your circles with that arm, allowing your eye gaze to go with the hand. <coughs> Doing both directions. <coughs> and really maybe explore a spot that feels really good. <coughs> I know. And shake it out a little bit. Come back onto your back. Do some windshield wipers, wide leg. Did you let it bring you up? Yeah, he doesn't want to really roll with it right now. He's going to say how you roll it, and he got into it with spin point. Like little girl can roll that into it. And then draw one knee into the chest, reach the other leg long. Let's roll back up. And do a little roll. Feels good to your back. Make sure there's nothing behind you. There's nothing in our way. So send the elbows out wide. Think of those armpit, back muscles again. Draw the navel in and up. Looking to the belly. Float the feet up. <coughs> Hold either behind the knees or squeeze the legs in, but remember we're rolling the belly action and not momentum. So the squeezing legs in makes it harder. So just begin to rock back and forth on your sacrum. In our little roll like a ball position. Your spine is in that C curve, that capital C. Drop your shoulders down away from your ears. Even more, 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 reach them down. And then if you want to practice rolling back, you can, or you can just stay here. If you're rolling back, use an inhale to go back to shoulder blades, and then exhale to roll up. So making the breath work with you. Nice. And do a few more. I'm having trouble with this little knot in my shirt. <laughs> It sounds good in theory. <laughs> and then hug it in a little bit. Good work. <clears throat> Let's move in and out of that teaser, or at least hold teaser. So the teaser position is legs up to that 90 degree bend. You're on your sacrum, which we've just been balancing on. At the top, you want to try to lift the chest. The arms can reach out long or they can keep holding wherever you need them. Reach them out long, palms to the ceiling. Think of reaching the legs long if you can. And then we're gonna articulate the spine one bone at a time. Roll it all the way down to the mat. Send the arms up. You can circle them wide as you exhale. You lift and extend the legs. In theory. <laughs> And then you roll it back down. Keep the abs engaged. Take a deep inhale. And you exhale to lift. And you open the heart at the top. Nice. Squeeze it in. And then explore it a little more. So I'm going to, let's try some leg lowers. So start in that position. Think of 
the collarbones being open, but the low back rounding towards the mat. And you can have the legs long a little bit, all the way bent, your choice, but to keep the shoulders reaching down. And then the upper body stays still, try to lower the feet down. Oh, oh yeah. No. And breathe. And squeeze it in. Nice. How's that going? It hurts. It hurts. Yeah. I'm feeling it this morning too. Okay. Meet back up. Your teaser of choice. And then releasing the palms if you can, reaching the legs long. Try to lower the upper body while keeping the legs right where they're at. So it doesn't lower all the way to the mat, just a little lower. And then lift. And Woo. open the collarbones at the top. Woo. Oh, crap. Yep. Woo. Feel that, right? Especially yeah. on this hardwood floor. <clears throat> and roll it down, squeeze it in, hug it out. Yeah. Whatever you need, good job. <coughs> I know, I love this bamboo floor, but it is really hard. Maybe a happy baby. Just because it's good. And then let's meet back up, bridging position. Send your hands behind your head. And the head can rest on the mat for a second here. As you think of, again, finding that middle position with your elbows so that your back and your shoulder blades are drawing down. All those back muscles are working. The head is pushing into the hands. We're gonna Exhale, bring the head up. Look between your knees here. Take your right armpit to left knee. Try not to move your pelvis. Inhale it back to center, but stay lifted if you can. Exhale, left armpit, right knee. So check in with your pelvis. Notice if it's rocking with you. Try to only move from the navel point up. And if you need more work, lift the legs. Send the right leg long, left knee comes into right armpit, and then you switch it. So you can get the legs active if you want, your choice. But keep breathing, keep pushing the head into the hands. Keep thinking your belly is hollowing out left to right. And then squeeze it in, lower down. Good job. And now uh, do some circles with your ankles. Loosen your ankles up. And then shoot one leg long, roll back up. Let's explore the rhomboids again on hands and knees. So start neutral spine, looking down at your thumbs, which are reaching towards one another. Reaching just that mid-back area to the ceiling and then lowering it down. Think of your, the top, the front of your shoulders here, not moving. It's just the thoracic spine, so right between your shoulder blades, and the sit bones keep reaching out away. Upper arms are rotating away from each other, remember, elbow creases forward, elbows bent. And then raise the knees, if you wanna go more into it. So same thing, that rhomboids working, 
navel to spine, knees lifted. How's it going? Hard. Yeah. I know. Drop the knees down, stretch it out, kind of find that puppy hip <clears throat> lifted. And then walk the hands back in. Standing up on the knees. <clears throat> Reach the right leg out long. And I've got my toes kind of reaching forward and away to the top corner of my mat. So make your hip happy with your hip. Send the hands behind the head. Draw the navel in and up. Draw the ribs down. Activate those back and armpit muscles by really pushing the head into the hands and reaching the shoulders down. Take a deep inhale. And then we're going to twist towards the leg and up and away from the leg, but keeping that foot grounded. And just keep bending and breathing. But thinking of the navel drawing in, anybody else's hip cramping yet? Hopefully not. My calf is a little bit. <laughs> calf. So keep thinking of lifting up to go over to each side so that you're not jumping. And then come back to center. Drop your left hand down. So it's like a modified side plank. And the hand is right under the shoulder. Then lift that top leg. If you can, mine is wanting to cramp. So breathing here, your one long line from leg to head. Send the foot forward and back. So a tiny bit forward, tiny bit back, so that the upper body is stable. And keep breathing. Nice job, Marcia. I can't see the rest of you ladies, but I'm sure you're doing good too. We'll leave it to the imagination. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Take a moment, maybe sit back on your toes, stretch the toes out. That one's hard. Oh, so I took my uh, pinky toes and I spread them out even wider. <clears throat> Get them to do that on their own. Good little stretch. Woo! Then I want to do one more on that same side. So go back to the same side, the right leg was out. I'm going to send it forward, drop the left hand down, and then stay here or send the left foot out behind the right foot so that you're in the side plank. So you can keep doing modified if you want or step it up. Hand behind the head, navel to spine, ribs drawing down. We're going to send the body to the ceiling and then lower it. Wait, wait, so are we doing the other side? Same side. Same side. Same side. Yep, same side, same torture. <clears throat> Arm behind the head. Anybody with me? I am. Okay. And really send the hips up. Think of the spine bending like a banana. And lower. And then when you've had enough, Find child's pose in a second. Good work. And then we're going to go to the other side when you're ready. Woo -wee. So standing on my right knee, it just popped. Check in, you can take a blanket under your knees if you need to. Left leg out, finding a spot where your foot faces up and away or forward so that your hips happy. And then bring the arms back behind the head. Navel the spine, ribs drawing down, 
pushing the head into the hands, drawing the shoulder blades back. All of that, remember, your upper back is active. Inhale to really engage. And then you're exhaling up and over to each side. Inhaling center, exhaling over each time. And you're pushing your foot down into the mat. That left foot. And you, it's like your upper body is squeezed between two planes of glass. So you're trying to stay right in a line. Maybe one more each side. And then lower that right hand down. So check in, it's right under your right shoulder. Fingers are spread wide. And then we're lifting that top foot, pointing through the foot. Navel to spine is active, so you're not dumping through that upper body. And you're sending the for foot forward and back. The left hand can be behind the head or on the hip, wherever it's comfortable. Go, a couple more here. Ooh, my leg is shaking. How about y'all? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Then lower it down. Sit back on the knees a second. <clears throat> or on the toes. Curl the toes under if that feels all right to you. Spread the toes out wide. Take that stretch. Maybe shake the shoulders out. Little dance. Everybody joining the dance party on Thrive Online. <laughs> so record a little dance, post it. It'll be funny. Okay, back to that right. For me, it's my right side. My right hand's down. I don't know what side y'all are doing. I'm on the right side. You're on the right too, okay. Maybe I should specify so I know, huh? I think you did. Okay. All right, so let's see. My top foot is going to be forward on my mat. I can stay in this modified side plank or send your right foot back behind the left. Send the left hand behind the head. Again, pushing your head into your arm. Navel to spine, ribs in. Begin to lower and lift. When you lift, Really think of flexing the spine up to the ceiling, sending the hips up. <laughs> and a couple more here. Keep pushing the head back. Keep bringing the navel to spine. Nice work. Roll forward, find your child's pose. <coughs> Happy pose, whatever feels good. And find your breath. Um, nice work. All right, so now we're going to do a little release. Think of maybe just sitting up. Sitting on your heels, if that's comfortable to you. Or you can come into cat-cow, sit cross-legged. Just take a second, relaxing <coughs> the belly and relaxing the pelvic floor. So try to have your sit or your heels straight up to the ceiling, right into your sit bones, if that's available to you. And think of just relaxing through the pelvic floor, Relaxing the ribs, letting the ribs go. Maybe even take out that whole upper body. Just letting it release again. We've been trying to keep everything engaged and drawing together. So just relaxing it. And then this is where if you have a blanket or a pillow, block, anything that would be helpful 
We're going to come down to our belly for a release this time. So a lot of time we do a release on our back with a block. We're going to do another release here for our abdomen. So what I've got is a buckwheat pillow, but a couch pillow, uh, anything. Maybe even just your arms if you don't have anything, just crossing your arms or ribs. And see if, if that works for you. You can let me know. But try to come down on your belly and you want your whatever you've got between your rib cage and your pubic bone. So you want it right, right here as you're laying down over it. Everybody have something to try to lay on? Yes. Okay, cool. So this is just that point in class where we just let everything go. You can maybe bring your hands together, one on top of the other, right under your forehead. Separate your feet out as far as you need to to help your low back be comfortable. But definitely think of drawing your pubic bone down but then try to release the muscles that made that happen, if that makes sense. And just take a moment here to let go. So a couple minutes, just releasing. Try to release, maybe start with the head or start with the feet and just work up through your whole body, trying to relax every muscle. How's everybody feeling with this uh, pillow under your belly? So keep trying to relax, but just notice. It feels like, good. Feels yeah. good? Yeah. yeah. So sometimes yeah. it doesn't feel good, especially the harder whatever your object is. It can be like even someone wanting to vomit or just anxiety. So you want to be able to just soften into any of that that comes up. If your object is too hard and you can't soften, you just have to try to find something else that works. So this is really good for helping to release your psoas muscles um, on either side of your belly button down to your hips. <clears throat> so and then just begin to just rock the hips side to side. So keeping that belly relaxed. Getting the pelvis rocking a little bit. Hey, hey. And then just roll to your side. Take a minute. And then just use your top arm whenever you're ready. So just moving at your own pace, pushing back up. Oh, and then just check in. Nice work. How's everybody feeling? Good. Great.